So let's start to create a pie chart with React Chart.js number two. And you can see here I create not only a pie chart but a multi-level pie chart. Let's start to explore this. So let's create a pie chart with React Chart.js. So we have here this blank template here showing only the title. So what we're going to do first of all is to import all the components from Chart.js itself. So what we're going to do here, import, and then in here, we're going to say chart as chart JS, comma, and then we're going to select the element. So for a pie chart, we need the arc element, comma, what we will need more is probably the tooltip, comma, and the legend. We won't be using any scale because there's no scale in there. So once we did that, we're going to say a from string value chart.js. So basically, we just import that from chart.js. The next thing, and by the way, just a quick note, I already installed React. I already installed React chart.js number two. So they are already in here. I'll make a separate video for that. So then what I want to do is I want to register that specific all, or all these items. So I'm going to grab this chart.js. And we're going to say here dot register. And then within here, I want to basically activate all of these items that I just grabbed. So once I did that, semicolon here, save. We're not done yet, but you can see here, it's just loaded, but does do anything because we didn't return anything on special. What we do need to do is, is to import the pie chart structure from the uh, ch React Chart.js2 component. So we're going to just say here, pie, and then from String value react chart yes dash two. Just basically this here, semicolon. Alright, and I put this here after the import of this because it would just make more sense because chart yes library needs to load first. And this here is slightly dependent on this chart yes library. However, the order would not matter much. So just a quick note. Anyway, we have this now. Then what I want to do is I want to have the next item here. Uh, well, let's start to draw the item. Enter, enter, and I'm going to create a new div here. And this div will have a style, so I'm going to say here style equal, and then like that, and then maybe here proper indentation. Then I'm going to say here a closing div. All right, so what's going on here? What am I missing? Of course, I'm missing a div uh, bracket here, or what is that? The, uh, the chevron here, or uh, something like that anyway doesn't matter i forgot the term of this one but let's leave it for now or oh, arrow sorry that's the term so in here i will have to do some padding so i'm going to say a padding maybe 20 pixels this is a string value comma and then we have to make sure that this is also in brackets comma so we have it so you can see the colors have been showing up and then maybe we can say here that the width of this item will be 50 percent not sure how big it will be, but let's do it like that. If I save this, oh, there you are. So there you are. It, the next thing what I want to do here is, of course, to create the item. Because I will nest it within this elements here. We can say, you know, pi, closing pi. Very straightforward. Then I'm going to say here. Uh, what do we need here? We need the data. And we need the option. So I'm going to say here data object equals data, but of course there's nothing yet. And options equals options. So if we save this, we get an error because we have two items that are not yet defined. These are, these are constant objects, but the constant variables are not defined yet. To define them, I need to do it before the return. So I'm going to put here up. I'm going to say a constant data equals, and then here, uh, data, what we have first is the labels. So what kind of labels we have, which is an array value. And uh, what can we do here as a label? We say uh, one, two, and number three. So nothing fancy in here. Next is the data set. So I'm going to say a data sets, which is an array. And then within the array here, I'm going to put in here curly braces. And we're going to say here, data and then the data here in itself is an array of values as well so we have here an array and then we're going to say it's three six and nine that's beautiful because we have three 
items in here. And then once we did that, I think we are here done or, oh no, we have of course a background color. Let's do a background color. And a background color for this could be, uh, let's make this an array. I'm going to make this aqua. I'm going to say here, uh, blood orange. And we have the other one is uh, purple. All right, let's see if that works. All right, options is not yet defined. Of course, we didn't define any options. However, we have this here. I think that for the background color, there's more than sufficient. There's nothing we didn't additional needed. Semicolon here. Then we're going to say constant options. And for the options, basically, we have nothing at all. Honestly, we have nothing. So for the options, I'll just save this. Leave it blank. There you are. Absolutely phenomenal. And now we have our beautiful item here. But I guess blood orange. Or maybe it should be red orange. No, or orange red. Orange red. There you are. So now we have the light blue, orange red, and the purple in here. Of course, what we could do as well is, let's say we have another data set. So we have a multiple pie chart. Let's put that in there. Save that. Refresh. And there you are. We get these as well. Absolutely phenomenal. And that is basically how you can create a nice pie chart with React Chart.js. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to create it a uh, line chart with arbitrary lines as well in react chart yes i have a video that should pop up right now on the screen somewhere and i would highly recommend you to explore that one as well